So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, we get to the next match of the night. It was the first match of the night, actually. It was the AEW World Heavyweight Champion Swerve Strickland with Prince Nana at ringside versus Kyle Fletcher with Don Callis on commentary. So yeah, we get to this match. And this match, it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth and everything. But then while this match is going on, we see backstage the Elite going into Tony Khan's office so yeah that was going on there during this match but yeah we go back to this match and this match it was a good one swerve hit neck breaker onto kyle fletcher on the ring apron he climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with a swerve stomp onto fletcher on the apron and it looks like he hurt his ankle so kyle fletcher kept on going after his ankle majority of the time in this match like you know like ankle locks and all that stuff uh and then they kept on trying to reverse these tombstone power drivers one of them when Kyle Fletcher jumped up for the tombstone, kind of looked like, it didn't even look like a tombstone, you know? Like, Swerve kind of, like, landed on his, like, upper back, really, or something like that. I don't know. But, yeah, just going back and forth and everything, Swerve was on the top turnbuckle. Uh, Fletcher climbs up there and tries to superplex him, but, you know, Swerve is fighting back and everything. And then Kyle Fletcher was, like, barely hanging on to the turnbuckles, and uh, Swerve jumps up with the double foot stump. The Swerve stump onto Fletcher. He pins him one two fletcher barely kicks out two swerve goes to the corner waiting for fletcher to get back up to his knees he hits the house call on to him and then he pins up at a one two three so yeah swerve strickland defeated kyle fletcher tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match that's what happened but while this match was going on i forgot to mention that don Callis was telling kyle fletcher to get a weapon and fletcher did get out the ring and then he starts looking underneath the ring and then he just decided not to so Maybe we we'll want to see Kyle Fletcher out of the Don Callis family soon. Who knows? We'll see, though. But, yeah, for that match, I'll give it three and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a good opener. But, yeah, then after that, we see Renee Briquette interviewing Thunder Rosa backstage. And Thunder Rosa was talking about how she came so close by beating Tony Storm and all that stuff at Dynasty. And she says that Deanna Perrazzo needs to stay off her business. So, yeah, that's what she says. And then Deanna comes up. And both of them starts arguing, pushing each other, and a bunch of security guards had to get in between them. They get them to stop trying to brawl. So, yeah, that's what happened there. But, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. See you guys later until then. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention that they announced that Kenny Omega is returning next week on Dynamite. We'll see about that. See you guys later until then.